so many people making this mistake of saying that Nigeria is on autopilot. If 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 an aircraft is on autopilot, you are sure of safety, you are sure of direction, you are sure of even possible landing. Because there is control, technological control. That is not the situation of Nigeria. In Nigeria is, is heading, is, is one can even say is directionless. There is no pilot, there is no autopilot. We are one, in a situation where one can say on our own, everybody is on his own. Even the government itself is being run as if there is no one in control. So why is the autopilot? That is the, that is the situation of the Nigerian state at the moment. And all the more reason why we have been talking to ourselves in our party and reaching out to other well-meaning Nigerians, patriots, for us to really come together and rescue this country and rebuild it. Because we are in such a state that one can say we, 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 we are in distress. And we need every help from within and from our friends. You have mentioned the issue of security challenges in Nigeria. No state is spared. No part of this country, you can say, is clearly safe and secure. So when you are in such a situation, you can't be talking about investment. You can't be talking about development. You can't be talking about anything. You have to reestablish peace and then begin the process of rebuilding the country. You are a member of the People's Democratic Party after you moved over, and then it was more like a surprise. About 300 votes, and then you were able to make it. It was survival. I followed that election. Today, now you are in the PDP, and you are one of the presidential aspirants. Going down memory lane, in 2019, I was at the Adoki Amesimaka Stadium in Port Harcourt, and then the man, Nyesom Ezewawike, did not hide his support for you. Today, he's also an aspirant. You are also an aspirant. Which way the PDP? In 2018, August in particular, I came back to PDP. What happened? We had one of the most contested elections in Nigeria, gubernatorial elections in Nigeria, in Sokoto, Northwest. And it was out of conviction that I left APC. I could have won that election from my bedroom with Buhari, as, as candidate of the APC from the Northwest, with the court like following. But I said, no, I disagree with the way our country was being run by the president and his team. So it was out of conviction that I left the APC, a comfort zone, to PDP, and, 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 and to go against the tide, as it were. And I, I did that, and, 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 and to the glory of God, won the elections, yes, with narrow margin, but I won the elections. Before that election, Atiku Abakar and Buhari ran an election, presidential. The difference between Atiku and Buhari was about 130,000 votes. Two weeks later, we recovered all of that margin and won the first ballot, which was declared inconclusive. Second ballot, we won by that margin. What else can we say apart from thank God? Because it's clear that the people of Sokoto were out for me and God was on our side. So that margin of 342 votes is not a small margin. In my eyes, it's worth millions of votes. The PDP, yes, we are here again. In 2018-19, my good friend, the governor of River State, supported me openly and he worked for, for my candidature. Now he's interested also in vying for the presidency of Nigeria. That doesn't make us enemies. We are still friends. We are still brothers. Even last week Saturday, I was with him when he buried his uncle as, 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 as part of him and being friends that we've been. And we've been friends. I don't preach politics of bitterness. My philosophy has always been that of politics without bitterness. And that's why you can see that, yes, I've been, I have moved out of PDP, came back to PDP. If I have had issues with those that I left in the PDP, they couldn't have welcomed me back. So I, 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 I cherish a situation whereby whoever has aspiration should be allowed to express his aspiration. After all, 
It's God that gives power. And my prayer is that God should give us the best. So if it is wicked that win the uh, promise of the PDP, I would work and make sure that by the grace of God, PDP will win the election. You see, our recent experience in PDP had shown that it's achievable. Yes, we have tried it several times in micro level of uh, state constituencies, houses of assembly, chairmanship, councillorship, and then, of course, house of representatives, senatorial, even gubernatorial in some states, it has been tried. And uh, recently we tried it in, uh, in, 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 on the National Working Committee election, the National Leadership of our party. And that is how we produced uh, Dr. Yoche Ayu. So it's, we felt that it's, it's, it's still worth trying. It will, at least it will lower the tension in, uh, amongst party supporters. If party supporters see aspirants working together, bonding, uh, I, mean, I mean, it will, it will bring some more uh, peace and, 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 and stability in the party. And, 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 and uh, I, I believe that, is, that there is a chance of, 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 of us uh, pulling it through. Yes, let's see. Um, Governor Tom and of course members of that committee spoke a few days ago. And there's this um, statement of making reference to the neck. It was not expressly zoned to any part of the country. What's your interpretation of that against the background that people are saying should come to the south. So as it stands now, what's your take about what uh, uh, Governor Samuel or Tom said referring well, to the neck? When he expressly states that it was zoned to any particular. No, no, no. What what uh, Governor Tom uh, said and or possibly did was the right thing. Uh, they, 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 they were a committee constituted by the National Executive Committee. That's neck of our party. So you don't expect him to preempt his report. To the public without presenting it to the the, the, the authority that constituted uh, their committee so it's, it's only right that he takes his report or their report to neck and then neck will now tell nigerians what the content of the report is so i agree with him that that's 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 how it should be if the party comes up with a decision that it is zoned to the south what would be your reaction sir my reaction I I am I, I'm not uh, a hypothetical politician. I will wait for that moment and then I will react. If it is zoned to the north, sir, I will wait for that moment and react. Does PDP have what it takes to rescue Nigeria? Absolutely. We do. We have the people. We have those that have the experience, the capacity, and the managerial skills to govern Nigeria. It's all about human management. And we have a number of leaders in PDP that possess those qualities. So I believe that we can do it. Together, we rebuild Nigeria.